The Copenhagen Major stickers have finally been added to CS2, but should you buy them as an investment? Today we're going to be going over just that and trying to figure out whether or not Copenhagen will be a good investment based on everything that we've learned from previous Major stickers. Before we get any deeper, the stickers are currently $1 and can be purchased in-game. Do not buy them yet. They will go on sale and they will be sold for $0.25, cents, so do not buy yet. Absolutely wait for the sale. Are you looking for cheap low float skins for trade-ups? Check out today's sponsor, Skins Monkey. It's the most convenient trading bot site where you don't have to overpay for low floats. I found this 0 0.08 op elite build and this 0 0.09 M4 Tooth Fairy and the tradable M4 was delivered to my inventory instantly. If you apply code tech savvy, you get a 5% deposit bonus and you also get a $5 trading bonus when you start trading. Don't worry if you don't have any skins, just head over to freebies and you'll find three giveaways all the way up to a gut knife gamma doppler. So use my link in the description to start finding deals on low float skins today. Now interestingly, the thing that matters the most are the hollows. The papers, the glitters, and even the golds people don't really care much about. And looking closer at the hollows, you'll notice that there's actually two types of styles of hollows. This is pretty unprecedented, and before, you just had the same style of hollow for every team, but this time it's different. The first type I like to call the center hollows. The reason I named them this should be pretty obvious, it's because the good looking hollow effect is in the center of the sticker, and it has a lot of surface area of this effect. The better looking center hollows are the Lin Vision, the PGL hollow itself, the Furia, the Virtus Pro, and the Navi stickers. The other category of hollows I like to call the edge hollows. This has the good hollow effect on the edge. Most of these stickers look pretty bad, but there are some exceptions like the Koi hollow. The presence of these two styles is kind of weird. It seems that these stickers are the same, except some stickers have their holo effects switched, and it seems kind of random which stickers these are, so honestly to me this kind of seems like a mistake. And the only reason I'm spending so much time on this is because there have been instances where Valve went back and changed the look of some stickers, specifically during the Antwerp Major when they adjusted some of the glitter effects. It's just good to keep in mind that in the beginning some slight adjustments are not out of the question, but let's talk a little bit about previous majors and what we can take away from them. Of course, Paris did not do very well. As soon as rumors got out that Copenhagen was going to be borderless, Paris capsules plummeted around 15% and now they're below the 25 cent mark where everyone bought it, so everyone is now down on them. They're at an all time low. And this was of course triggered by people panic selling, having just learned that the new stickers are most likely going to be borderless. Now this was absolutely absolutely expected. Take a look back when Paris came out, that was the biggest drop in major sticker history when Stockholm and Antwerp plummeted to a fraction of their price that they were before. This once again was because Paris was borderless. So the prices of major stickers are clearly heavily influenced by future major stickers. Now we will have around 8 months between this major and the next major in Shanghai in December, which should be plenty of time for prices to start going up, but in order for that to happen, the stickers cannot be oversupplied. If they are oversupplied like Paris, the prices won't do anything at best. And to be honest, the supply issue has only been becoming larger and larger over the last couple majors. Every single time, the amount of time that these stickers were on sale for has gotten significantly longer, and we have no indication that that will be otherwise this time. That being said, the fact that Paris didn't do well could help us quite a bit. Let's take a look at the 2020 RMR stickers. We all know and hate them. They're terrible, they were super oversupplied, and they were not a good investment. A lot of people lost a lot of money on it, and consequently in the next major, the Stockholm major, not many people invested. Or if they did, they invested a much smaller amount. The situation right now I believe is kind of similar. Paris just had a massive drop, and not only did people lose a lot of money, but also the tied up capital in these stickers came with a hefty opportunity cost. This pretty much just means that all the money that people invested was tied up doing essentially nothing when you could have used it for something that would have made you more money. That's pretty much what opportunity cost means. But the question remains, is the Paris PTSD enough to prevent people from buying up millions and millions of Copenhagen capsules? Now it's very very early in the major so 
I cannot say what the answer is to that question. And that also depends on how good looking people think these stickers are. Right now, the overwhelming consensus is that they look kind of bad, and I don't know if I agree with that. While they're definitely not as good as either Paris, Antwerp, or Stockholm, I think they look much better than people give them credit for. And also, don't forget that these are the first stickers that people actually care about. There was also this capsule, but no one really cares. That dropped since the new custom sticker placement update. Now, the argument could be made that this update should affect stickers equally all over the board, but I think there might be a slight bias towards the newer stickers because they will soon be really cheap at 25 cents and you can buy an infinite quantity of them, but it will definitely be really interesting to see how this turns out. So let's turn back to the big question. Should you invest in Copenhagen stickers? Right now, absolutely not. Wait for the sale, wait until you can buy them for 25 cents on Steam, or better yet, wait until a bunch of them get listed on Buff, and then you can buy them there for around 18 cents. So just be patient, do not listen to any single person trying to give you advice, that's including me. Do your own research, see what people think about the stickers, see how many people buy it, and finally, make your own personal decision about investing in them or not.